Hello, everybody. My name is Alfonso, and today I'm going to present the Cisco Multi Channel Campaign Manager project. Just a little bit about me I'm a consulting engineer for the collaboration technology in customer experience team at Cisco Mexico City. On my day to day work, I am responsible for the design and implementation of the UC portfolio uh, with our customers. And uh, sometimes, well, more than often, we receive requirements which do not come bundled out of the box with many of our UC portfolio solutions. And it was the case one time that a customer requested to, uh, well, a way of leveraging their business rules for contacting people in our UCCX and UCCE solutions. And uh, although these Cisco platforms incorporate very powerful mechanism for, for contacting people through different channels, they don't take into account the business rules. This is how do I contact people, under which circumstances, which messages do I send to these people based on which situations. So this is business intelligence, this is business rules, and it didn't come out of the box with our UCCX and UCCE solutions. So that's why we designed this platform called MCCM, which basically brings these contact business rules into play for our customers. So which are the current uh, features of this ongoing project? Well, we extract the CRM uh, uh, business rules and we translate them into mechanisms for contacting people through different channels, which can be SMS, email, and also all our queues in uh, our UCCX and UCCE platforms, such as robocall and live calling as well. And also, well, furthermore, this uh, application can be integrated into FNS console, so agents and supervisors can monitor the, the, the contact uh, events and will move from there and design their own strategies. In a nutshell, this is how the solution looks. So basically, we enable the, the connection to any corporate CRM, such as any given database or more complex uh, CRM systems. And then once we understand these rules, we contact people through these different channels, as you can see here. It can be through corporate email. Uh, we can also push the, the, the people who need to be contacted to the different queues existing in the already deployed UCCX and UCCE platforms inside the uh, customer's deployments. And now I would like to, to present to you a success story uh, of uh, using MCCM tailor-made applied to a specific customer. So for this specific case, it was rebranded as a Cisco multi-channel dining tool because these uh, uh, multi-channel uh, uh, contacting efforts were shaped for the sole purpose of dining. This is basically reaching out to people who hadn't paid their bills yet. So our customer was uh, a triple play provider, uh, cable, TV, internet, and telephony. And they needed a consistent means for contacting the people who hadn't paid their services yet. But the thing is that they had different levels of subscriptions and uh, they couldn't reach out to people in the same way because it would damage or it would put in jeopardy their relationship with those clients. So we have the summary here in these four bullets. They needed to automate this contact to the people but in a very precise and sensible way, according to each persona, according to each people's profile. And well, their marketing goals were to uh, well contact the people, also to uh, to give them offerings, not only uh, 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 reminding them about their their uh, due uh, depths with them. And the logic behind this was the different subscription levels, which we can see. So all people or personas uh, within this company, like all the customers, had a membership level. We can see here like platinum, gold, silver, and bronze. But they also had a due payment priorities. You couldn't reach out to a, per to a, a person, to a user with a platinum level the same way that you would reach out to a bronze level. 
because the priorities are different and there were some relationships that uh, our customer wouldn't like to damage by sending these uh, uh, dunning messages. So the way the business rules were um, were interpreted by the MCCM platform was that depending on the membership level and the payment priority, you would be reached out in a different way. And from their own words, if uh, the, the payment wasn't done on a, on a given amount of time, the person would be contacted by different means using different messages. So we would start, for example, on, a, let's say, a silver user. We would start by sending an email, just friendly reminder, it's okay, uh, you still have some time to pay your services. Then afterwards, it would escalate to an SMS, still okay, you have some time, but please take it into account. Furthermore, if the user didn't pay, we would go for a robocall. So the user would receive uh, these sort of automatic calls that uh, if you pick the phone, you don't, there's, there, are no, there's no, there are no person in the other side of the phone. So you only get this recording reminding you, giving you a friendly reminder to pay your services. If this didn't work, the next time that you would be contacted would be a live call, this time with a real person behind the phone. And it's trying to negotiate with you which would be the best way or what do you need for paying your services. And well, the last resource here would be an eventual disconnection and you will be notified by email and SMS about this, inviting you to uh, uh, reach out uh, to set up your situation. And I would like to share with you very quickly the implemented architecture of the solution. We can see that the MCCM server is at the center of this. It is um, it was uh, deployed on prem due to the sensibility uh, issues and the connection to their CRM and to their customer databases. And from here, we could just connect. Uh, well, we could just deploy all the the different channels, all the different connections on prem and outside of the company's uh, database. So, for example, we had here a connection to their own a corporate email server for sending the dunning emails. We would also have a connection to their already deployed UCCX and Finesse console agents. So, agents could control themselves the dunning process and could monitor the day to day uh, dunning events that happened with their customers. And also, here we uh, were able to deploy a connection to a third party. Uh, SMS uh, um, service, which is called WebText, for sending the, the, the SMS dunning messages as well. So you can see here that from a single uh, deployment, using uh, uh, lots of different APIs, we were able to deploy all these channels and have an orchestration of the dunning process based on very specific and very concrete business rules. And the way that we were able to connect um, to, to the Cisco part, which is the UCCX and UCCE uh, deployments, was through their very, very powerful API service. So it is very easy to deploy these connections. And what we did in this part was to basically inject the, uh, the content of the queues. We had deployed, uh, we deployed different queues for these different uh, uh, levels of, of donning. Uh, based on the business needs and based on, on the business personas. And we had these queues for robocall, we had these queues for um, live calling as well. So this is how we did it. The, the queues were already deployed, so we just injected the people who needed to be contacted through these APIs. And now let's, I would like to share with you very quickly a demo of this project. So if you allow me to do so, we have here a standard uh, agent uh, finesse console. You can see that this is a normal agent. It can be a supervisor or it can be an agent who belongs to a specific team dedicated to the uh, donning monitoring. And uh, this is a very basic home tab, but the magic comes here when you jump to this customized um, widget where we incorporated the the whole web application of our dining tool. So you can see here we have very standard login. I'm gonna jump in jump in here. 
and you can see which were the dawning efforts made this day. What happened today earlier when the platform made the dawning process? And you can see that we sent 76 emails, 89 SMS texts, uh, 75 live calls, blast calls, and disconnections. And here we have a detailed view of the different memberships. So we know we have a statistic view of um, the, uh, how the people on different levels were contacted through this signing process. We can see here platinum, gold, silver, and so on. And if we jump here to the activity reports, we can filter the events based on different criteria, such as the account number, subscription level, uh, the contact channel, uh, on, or the specific contact date where um, the stunning process took place. I'm gonna search everything here, and you have a detailed view of all these people who were reached out for dunning purposes. And finally, we have here the script customization part, where we have different levels of um, of, of, of dunning of reachability to these people, and uh, you can see that the message changes. So we have different email and SMS contents for what we call a friendly niche. A uh, friendly reminder, love them, and finally a push, which is you know a little bit more aggressive. And uh, we incorporate out of the box uh, a, a very basic editor, so the administrator can change the content of these messages based on any given reason, such as an ongoing campaign, a seasonal um, text, or whatever is required. And we can even incorporate images and uh, just compose our messages from there. So this is, in a nutshell, how the uh, our system looks like, re uh, incorporated right inside uh, a Finesse console. What I would like to show you next is the business opportunities that we see here with this approach. So uh, we used the MCCM platform in this case specifically for dunning, but it can be uh, adjusted for any given um, reachability for any given purpose. It can be from service providers, banking, hospitality, and government. We can push these intelligent multi-channel notifications to people based on any given purpose, such as marketing, confirmations, reservations, and so on. Everything from within the control of FNS console. And in a future scope, we want to leverage these capabilities to uh, have a seamless incorporation to the uh, WebEx contact center. We want also to provide support for WebEx teams for automating the, the um, the reachability process through these different channels. We want to incorporate uh, cognitive collaboration for being able to extract intelligence of these events to detect trends, to see how these reachability efforts are, uh, are moving forward. And finally, we want to leverage these interactions to uh, enable a two-channel communication after a reachability process. So that's all from my side. Thank you and have a great time.